Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Exodus chapter 14, where Moses wrote about the parting of the Red Sea. Moses began, The Lord said to Moses, Tell the sons of Israel to turn back and camp between the sea and Migdol. I am going to do something unspeakable, and I will be honored. I am going to harden Pharaoh's heart again, and he will bring the army to chase you down and capture you. But I am going to wipe the entire Egyptian army out in an instant. All the remaining Egyptians will know that I am the Lord, and word will spread to all the other nations of my power. So Moses did what God commanded. Pharaoh's spies told him, the people are wandering in the wilderness. They don't know where they're going. So Pharaoh readied his chariot and mustered his entire army. What did we do? We let all of our slaves go free. Let's get them back, Pharaoh said, as the army charged forward. The sons of Israel saw the army coming and said, Why did you bring us out here, Moses? It would have been better to live as a slave. I don't want to die in the wilderness. Moses said, Watch what God will do. The Lord will fight for you while you keep silent. The pillar of fire moved from the front of the group to the back and went in between the people and the Egyptian army. God told Moses, Tell the sons of Israel to walk toward the sea. As for you, raise your staff toward the sea and divide it. Watch what I will do to the water and to the Egyptian army. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord swept the sea back using a strong east wind that blew all night and turned the sea into dry land. The waters were divided. The sons of Israel walked through the midst of the sea on dry ground with a wall of water to the right and to the left. The Egyptian army, with all of their chariots, went in after them. At the morning watch, around three in the morning, the Lord looked down on the Egyptian army through the pillar of fire. God caused all the chariot wheels to fall off, and they drug themselves through the dirt. The Egyptians said, Oh no, God is fighting for them. Let us retreat. But it was too late. The Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea again, so the waters return to normal. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the two walls of water crashed together and crushed the entire army. Not one Egyptian survived. Thus the Lord saved the children of Israel again. The most important verses in this chapter are Exodus 14 verses 28 through 31, which state, And the waters returned and covered the chariots and all the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. There remained not so much as one of them. But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw that great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians, and the people feared the Lord, and believed the Lord, and his servant Moses. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that He saved the children of Israel again and wiped out an entire nation's armed forces in an instant. God wants us to see that He told Moses to lead the people in a confusing way at first for a reason. They didn't have long to wait to understand God's reasons and purposes. And God wants us to see that Many times, He wants us to watch Him fight our battles while we remain silent. All we have to do is walk toward the sea, knowing that something amazing is about to happen. 
Is God about to do something great in your life or the life of your people? Perhaps so. Trust and obey and watch God fight on your behalf. Repent for your sin and place your faith in Jesus for salvation. Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross as my substitute and your substitute, and God raised Jesus from the dead. We broke God's law, but Jesus paid our fine. He also conquered hell and death, and his return is near. God said that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that he raised Jesus from the dead, you would be saved. Why don't you do that right now? Hey, thanks for watching the Exodus chapter 14 episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it with someone. If you want to join me on this long video journey, feel free to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.